Alan Clements is visiting Studio 4. He is an artist, an activist, and spiritual teacher who trained as a Buddhist monk in Burma. He now teaches courses on the importance of trusting one's own deepest experience. People often identify the spiritual life with being present. The cult of me looking at you, looking back at me, mindfully looking at me, when in fact, how many American Indians told us way back when we were kids, look at the present, on how it influences seven generations of life out. Spiritual narcissism is rampant. Religion by function often uh, is a persona of arrogance. You're rich, I'm poor, you're telling me I create my own fucking reality? I've been in war zones. Girls who've been mass raped did not create their fucking reality. You know, there's so much carnage on the shoreline of teachers and gurus' predation. The Pope on down and all those bishops and archbishops and all those priests for so long in a, in a, in a pedophilia cult. Why is all this predation going on in the name of enlightenment? Does it happen in Ubud? Does it happen at Yoga Barn and at workshops here? All over America and Europe and Australia today, it is rampant. The most endorsed teachers in the Tibetan tradition today, I want to bring it out of the out of the shadows. I think it was Noam Chomsky who said the best form of spirituality is to practice spiritual self-defense. Think about tonight the message of owning, totally getting that who you are is absolutely enough. I do a show called Spiritually Incorrect where the, the, the essential theme of it is to illuminate how we lie to ourselves. How many of you lie to people? That to me is a very challenging, courageous individual who has intellectual freedom and emotional vulnerability simultaneously. We will never ultimately know, I think, our maker, what we're here for, what we're doing. Give me an evangelical Christian any day so I can overcome this unbelievable terror of having to face the mystery. The very soul of this show is self-esteem.